friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and today we got some new information about the August login character for Swaga. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be getting IG88 for the August login character. Now, if you are a player who doesn't have IG88, this is huge news for you. It's a great character. It's fun. It's whatever. But here's the thing. What does having a new login character mean? Well, in the past, it has meant that there's going to be something related to or something about this character that's going to be required in the future. Now, let's look. take a look back at like this month, looking back a few months. This month, we've got the Ahsoka Tano ship, right? We got Cat. Uh, before that, we had the Genosian Spy. We had uh, Cody. Commander Cody, and we had Rex, right? And so what are those all connected in and around? Well, they're connected in and around uh, GL Kenobi. They're connected in and around a Lord Vader. They're connected in and around Gas. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's connected to this. So what does getting IG-88 as a login character for the month of August mean for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Short answer, Forlom and Zuckus. Now, I've been saying this for years. We need this dynamic duo in, in the mix. They are an amazing group of characters. They're, they're fun. Um, one is a bug-looking droid. The other one looks like a frog that would probably have, like, a, you know, lizard tongue. I don't know. So, here's the thing. If you jump over to the Empire Strikes Back, Right when when Vader is holding the that group, he's bringing in all the bounty hunters. Who are the crew that he sees? Well, you have got Vader here. I love this image, but this isn't obviously from the movie. Okay, nice bounty hunter turnout today. Let's see, we got robot guy, old timey deep sea diver looking guy, lizard guy, who I think I saw get in a fight with Captain Kirk, Boba Fett, of course. Thanks for coming. And what are you supposed to be? Raggedy Andy. Get the. F out of my bounty hunter meeting. But right behind Bosk is Forlom and Zuckus. Now, it's always bugged me that these two bounty hunters aren't in the game, right? Specifically because they are part of that original crew. I mean, when we're first introduced to bounty hunters, in general, these are the two characters, or, or these are two of the characters that are part of that bounty hunter squad, right? That bounty hunter group that's like, hey, go after, you know, find these rebels and, and bring back, you know, Han Solo, but no disintegrations, right? It's, it's, why aren't they there? And it's bugged me for years, years, guys. But with IG-88 being the, this character, with IG-88 being the login character for the month of August, I have to take a look back and, and assume that all of this is pushing towards something. And we got that something in the road ahead, right? We, you can see the road ahead and where is he? Where is he? Not him. This is the sexiest man in all of video games, guys. I absolutely want that shirt. We are getting a new capital ship. I love the idea of this, for so many reasons. One, yeah, it's something new and shiny, and I love the new and shiny. But two, hopefully this means we are going to be getting new stuff for ships. Because in my mind, ships are not the most fun part of the game, right? I I, I play them periodically. Guys, let's face it, for me, I, I do one, maybe two bouts of in my ship arena just so I stay within that top 50. That's it. Right. I mean, I could probably do more. I could probably learn how to play my ships better. And I know anyone who watches me in GAC is like, you need to learn how to play ships better. But I don't. But I would love more ships. Ships need love. It's probably the, one of the stalest parts of the game. So I want more ship love. The fact that we're getting this new executor makes me feel like there's hope. But guys, that image, this image here took place or these bounty hunters came together on the executor. If you jump over and you rewatch uh, this man do his thing when he's talking about the executor and he's talking about, you know, the different people, right? Who do you have as he's talking about it? You get 
Boom. Bosk Forlom. Right? Now, are they hiding information in plain sight? Maybe, maybe not. I have a feeling that that's what they're doing, right? Also, right back here, where is he? Where is he? Forlom Zuckus. Boo ya grandma. Guys, this is, this to me is, it just makes sense. It makes sense that this is where they're going with this. Now, why? Why are they going to be giving us Forlom and Zuckus? Why do I think that this is the case? But at the beginning of the year, the end of last year, they said that 2021 would come with a ship load of new content. Now, new content could mean any number of things. And it has, right? We got the Bad Batch. We've got new GLs. It is great. It is exciting. I've loved the characters that we've seen so far. But again, there's still characters, Zuckus and Forlom, that need to be added to this game. But here's the thing, right? They're in a ship. They're on the Executor. If we got Zuckus and Forlom, it would literally be a shipload of content because they're loaded with the ship. Now, that might be a stretch, okay? And, and, and again, everything up to this point has been total speculation, has been circumstantial at best. But... If you want to jump into the actual meat and potatoes, the 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 legit potential, like looking at the data, there was part of a data mine that was was released just a couple of days ago, and you've got this right: medium galactic cargo, journey guide Omega bundle four, small galactic cargo, journey guide Omega bundles five, six, three. Gear bundle six and five, and then Omega bundle two and one, right? So essentially, there are six different bundles coming to the game. Now, bundles mean packs, bundles mean characters, right? Typically, this could be any number of things, but in my mind, what we are going to see is Zuckus, Forlom, their ship which I believe is called the Mist Hunter, then we are also going to see the ship of who else but Dengar. If you look at these requirements for the Executor, it's odd that you have, I mean, you have Dengar, but Dengar is the only one that doesn't have a ship. Boba's got a ship. IG-88's got a ship. Bosk has a ship, right? Dingar also has a ship, and it's called the Punishing One. And it looks pretty dope. I mean, it looks it looks pretty awesome. The Mist Hunter, I mean, it doesn't look super cool, but, like, whatever, right? I There's... Dingar needs a ship. He's been in the game. He's got to have a ship, right? And we know that they're going to be focusing on... And, and the when I say they, I, the, the executor is going to be the ship for bounty hunters. It is meant to be a ship that bounty hunters can use and take advantage with and, and be great with. So why don't we, why wouldn't we get Dengar's ship? But that leaves us with four, right? Simply four out of what's potentially the six bundles or packs that we're going to be getting. Now, the fifth, I believe, is absolutely going to be none other than Finnick Shand. Now, she's not directly connected to any of this. And so I think a lot of people are would, would say, well, that's kind of a stretch. And it might be. But I have this feeling that Finnick Shand is going to be one of the most important characters to come out of the next couple of months. And I do think that she's on her way. One, we saw her in the Bad Batch, right? And they are starting to, like, do stuff with the Bad Batch. But two, we also saw her in Season 2 of The Mandalorian. She's one of the few characters that we don't have. And I absolutely think that she is on her way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that sixth bundle, that sixth pack, are you ready for it? Are you absolutely ready for it? And a lot of people are saying that it is 
or could say that it is, you know, Dad Bod Boba. Now, I think Dad Bod Boba is coming as a galactic legend, and more on that in another video. But the final character that's going to be coming with these packs, Booyah Grandma. Interview Master Crumb, Urban Legend, Dark Side, Tank, Leader, Scoundrel. He is awesome. Who would he sync with? Nia Nub, Ron Jeremy, Wolverine, uh, Bitlong, and General Kenobi, of course, right? Again, all of this is random speculation, but I do we do know that these are coming to the game more than likely. When it comes to the data mine, you always got to take it with a grain of salt because things could change, things could be left out, things could just not happen, right? But it makes sense that bounty hunters are going to be an important part of the next little bit. Now, I'm excited for the executor. I probably won't be getting it until maybe December of this coming year. I, I don't know. It's 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 something that I'm I'm looking forward to, but it's not something that I'm actively farming for. Um I'm passively farming for it. Now what what I mean by that is I'm I'm going after Piet, I'm going after Vader and I'm going after the bounty hunters. They were on my list anyways. So it makes sense that I'm just going to keep doing that. You know, there's there's a few things that I've still got to get up, right? There's a few things that I still got to work towards. But I don't know. I'm excited. This has been speculation. But do you think that I'm close? How far off do you think I actually am? Does any of this make sense? Does none of it make sense? Granted, again, I've been trying to pull at the cobwebs to create a, a visual idea, right? A, a, a map of what's happening. I'm trying to get into the minds of the developers using this noodle. Am I right? Am I wrong? What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe, share. In the section below, you'll find a number of great links that will take you to the Going Nerdy Swag Store, get you an Audible trial for two books, one month every time you help. It all supports the channel. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy. Oh.